Hey YouTube friends, I just want to make a quick video to show you what I call my ham shack. Now it's not really a ham shack, it's just an ICOM IC718. I got a MFJ VersaTuner 2 and I got a Astron RS-35 A for the power supply. And that replaces the uh, long tractor battery I was using for the power supply. Which is really great. Nothing wrong with using a battery. It's nice and stable DC with uh, no noise or hum or anything. But it's just a pain in the butt charging the battery up all the time. So that's what I used a couple years ago, the battery. But I got the power supply on eBay for $89. Which was a real bargain. Because this 35 amp supply could supply 20 amps very easily. I think it was 100% duty cycle at 20 amps. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it was. So that's what the radio needs. The radio needs 20 amps to run it. So more than enough for the radio. And I'm just using it to listen. I don't have the microphone hooked to it because there's no sense because I don't have really the antenna hooked up. I mean, uh, see, I'm really close to the antenna. It's outside there. See that window there. There's the mast. And the window's kind of cruddy because of all the pollen outside. The pollen count was 5,700 today, which is brutal. And there's the deck. Some nice flowers that the wife put out. And um, I'm going to run the, uh, the coax from the radio out to the center of the yard. And I'm going to center feed the dipole in the middle of the yard. And... Hopefully the squirrels won't destroy the wire. But I'm going to really help because my low loss my low loss coax that I got, I got about 50 foot of that to get out there. But I'm going to take it in every time I, I, I'm done with it because it was expensive low loss uh, cable. And I'm just going to dangle a coax from the uh, center dipole down. And I'm just going to connect my coax from the radio to that. And I'll have to take it apart every night because the squirrels uh, actually uh, love to destroy it. And they destroyed my other antenna I had out there a couple years ago. So there's no sense leaving the coax out there like laying on the grass because the, the squirrels will, will, will kill it. So anyway, I'm not really that far to run a ground wire either. So the radio is here, and let's see, the ground is right there. So I could drive a stake into the ground a few feet. It just, it's just like about 15 feet to get to the ground stake. So that's like really close. So anyway, I just use it to listen. Now I think that's I think that's like an international broadcaster there. Fifteen point one one AM. It's just running AM there. So anyway, that's that's what I got. And I'm just using this tuner. Just tune in that little piece of wire. But yeah, I want to thank um, OH2FFY because he's been emailing me uh, back and forth. And the guy is a real expert on amateur radio. And I just want to say, you know, people that are interested in this should go to his YouTube channel, OH2FFY, that's Oscar Hotel 2, Foxtrot, Foxtrot Yankee, and he really knows his stuff, and I really don't know this technology here that much, I'm really learning it, like right now, but I really don't know it, like a whole lot, but uh, that gentleman does, he's really, really good. So uh, please go to his channel and ch check it out.
And that's all I got, folks. Take it easy. Have a great day. Bye. No, but you should press anti sabes que estaba así. Sí, sí, sí. No, no, no tanto de pensamiento. Bueno, fíjate tú, yo hace 20 años aterricé, 20, no sé ya 24, aterricé en Barcelona contigo. Entonces, mi filosofía es la misma de hace 24 años en cuanto a concepto de grupo, ¿no?